Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. Let's learn the great Christmas carol, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. We're going to learn it on E minor. I'm going to give you a variety of versions. First off, melody with simple chords with a really exciting rhythm pattern, which I think will work great for you. Then we are going to look at a very tango, very Latin kind of version, which I've developed for you with a lot of embellishments, with a lot of harmony options. So there's a lot to do in this lesson for different levels if you're a beginner and you just want to learn the melody with some exciting bass you can do that as well so let's get cracking and before we do it'll be great if you could subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit that bell icon for regular notifications so you don't miss anything we do and also all of our lessons will be supplemented with my handwritten notes for each one as well as notation backing tracks midi wherever applicable and in this case for this christmas lesson you're gonna get the notation in different versions you're gonna get MIDI files and you're gonna get notes as well for not only this lesson for pretty much every lesson we do so where you want to be is the patreon channel which will be a great supplement for whatever lesson you're watching right now so let's first look at a version of god rest ye merry gentlemen with first the melody and what we are going to do is we'll take the melody and just keep stacking harmony and rhythmic ideas over the same melody so get your pianos ready Play along with me. It's very, very important. Okay? So you go first line. And what's nice about a lot of Christmas songs is it kind of follows a repetition. So you're going to repeat the first line twice. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Let's get the fingering right. Or, if you like, like one nice set of fingering. Okay, and simple stuff you could play in your left hand. You could either play. Just play the roots of the chord. C, A, B, or... C, B, E, E, C, A, B. Eventually those will become chords or if you know the entire chords, you could even play them as a block. That's C major or C major 7th could also work. A minor or A minor 7th. B seventh, or could suspend it if you know your chords. So C A minor could do B sus or just B. And the right hand could also look at playing some harmonic ideas like little bit of thirds or could even play the chord with the top note of the melody sticking out. So you need to know your inversion. So let's uh, rewind. What we did earlier was just the tune with simple bass. Then we add some stack some block triads. Okay, twice. You can do stuff like that. Okay, so that's your first line. Um, now what I'm also doing as an option, very inspired by the Beatles of course, especially when you're on minor, you can go like a chromatic bass drop. Still E minor, but with a nice D sharp bass. So la da da da. That's sort of a very cliched movement. Let's get 
let's get that if you can get your chords in the bass that's e with d sharp e over d c sharp back to your c because it drops chromatically from e to c e d sharp d c sharp same a minor b let's do that again second line i'm proposing this still e minor the top ones is always going to be g b chromatic drop d sharp with the same g b chromatic drop to d chromatic drop to c sharp c a b dominant okay so that's the flavor we had in the second second line of the song harmonically because otherwise the melody is the same so it may be like oh you've just copy pasted it which is rather boring so whole thing again guys first line and second line first line we are keeping it simple with respect to harmony second line we could drop the chords so e minor c a 7th a minor 7th b drop c do that okay or if you are not so familiar with chords you could just play some roots or root and a fifth either the upper fifth or in some instances even the lower fifth would sound great sounds great if you just do e and its fifth which is b and it may seem simple but trust me it's not so simple just to even get that root and the fifth then okay with chords again with the drop let's move forward now now the next part i think cannot be arranged in any other way other than a choral arrangement which is how the original was and this is a traditional christmas carol so that means it's generally designed for soprano alto tenor bass so you have the stacks of your choir who have to handle this and in the choral version if you have to break down chords it's going to be literally a chord every beat which is ridiculously insane so uh, so it kind of goes na, 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 na. everything has a as a chord you can get away without too many chords in the beginning as we've already seen for the first two lines but the the next line is crazy so let's learn it in partly choral way let's first learn the melody Let's only do that. Okay, so get the fingering. Figure out when to cross. Okay, now what happens here is you could re retain that information in the right hand, but with the bass you could harmonize in third. So what I'm doing here. basically i'm just harmonizing my left hand with the lower third of each soprano so that's b's lower third is g sharp c's lower third is a so how you decide this is you form e harmonic minor and you go you form the thirds you first write it down very important part of choral harmony or any form of harmony to know your thirds so what we are doing there because it's chordally very quick very quick changing chords we just add that third ingredient okay you can read the notation as well if you if you can read it ta I'm 
also trying to do there is copying or doubling the soprano so the melody becomes stronger so i do stacks of thirds in my left hand for that entire uh, remaining line a third line and fourth line let's do that let's do that again and then continue again so let's just do the last line o tidings of comfort and joy so you go o tidings of let's do that o o still thirds o i'm kind of making it a bit interesting i can go back to chords a minor 7th of that's a over g and then comfort and joy come that's b 7th comfort and joy i like that contrary motion movement there these are all rules of harmony which i'm trying to put into one track chords choral and now some kind of contrary motion which you could also call as counterpoint comfort and joy joy they meet up comfort and joy comfort and my comfort and and then you groove on e minor comfort and joy o oh, o oh, tai that's another nice counterpoint there where joy o oh, So joy I'm holding my soprano joy and the bass will drop joy o o joy o o tidings of comfort and joy lot of contrary motion and counterpoint bass movement there so we have the choral section Okay so o oh, o oh, tidings of comfort and the climb of the bass and the drop of the melody comfort and joy e minor comfort and drop the bass to g a b with its a harmony climbing to e minor and you close the song Okay let me break that down again before we do a few things to note this is on e minor but a lot of my bass movements my climbs are very melodic minor like like comfort and joy rather than comfort and somehow i don't like that c i like the c sharp which is the the natural sixth comfort and joy or the raised sixth and the normal sixth comfort and joy so let's revise the choral bit going to the end and then we'll come back to the intro and kind of embellish it further let's see what we can do so choral bit again Okay now in the beginning when you did instead of just holding the chord you can groove the chord which i'm going to actually expand on in the actual version which we'll do uh, later on so so this is the groove you take e minor simple e minor 
but instead of doing broken like that we do e b e b e b e b so you can pretty much do this for the whole whole first line but there's a c major a minor and b so there How am I doing this? I'm just playing E G with both C and A. And I'm ending with B with that nice uh, dyad descent. If you don't know that, you can just do is that or just hold it. One more time line 1. So for the second line you do that Beatles drop that line cliche but you do it again in the same rhythm So for C same ending Okay then we go to the choral part which i taught you climbing oh tidings come for and joy come for and joy oh oh tidings of come for and so a few final words about the song which will allow you to embellish the melody a few licks so if you are a more advanced player you should definitely stick around or if you you'll find something interesting i'm sure you can add more spice to the lesson in the first line i'm doing a little bit of flavor there pare tum pa pare tum pa that's an b seventh lick in the bass one more time remember to keep a nice staccato as well we also call this rhythm as umpa 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 so and this is a swing feel so it's okay to move one or two notes a little bit earlier or a little bit later mostly earlier so you're going a little bit before at the ends as opposed to so kind of works doesn't it could make that a bit longer down then the choral part i've added some more layering so make it more like a choir so i'm singing you the alto which is the extra note i'm playing in my right hand up under the soprano which is the melody line there so it's literally like a choir which is going on now right da, 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 da. and then stick on d doing just dyads comfort and joy comfort and joy comfort and adding in an a is a, a and an e minor there joy comfort and joy oh oh joy 
सेम बेस ड्रॉप adding like a chaotic chord there okay like an f sharp minor 7 flat 5 things of calm for and joy so that comfort and joy i'm trying to embellish with stacks of thirds the choral part let me just go through that again i'll slow it down you can just follow kind of end with a nice melodic minor jump pum 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 see i like this melodic minor a lot even the v3 kings tutorial has this as well okay so let me just do the normal version again and just let's speed up the process just to revise what all is going on lot of off beat melodic stuff especially before the choral part because your melody is a bit free you can do stuff to it in the first two lines and the last couple of lines so and uh, right watch out for that ending lick and second line with the bass drop and then choral f sharp minus and flat 5 if you like like it Bass so whole idea. Let me just play the whole version very slowly at the end of the lesson, so you could follow along. And uh, just a quick reminder before we conclude, guys, the entire lesson I've notated different versions for different levels. There's an easy version, then there's a normal version. Uh, easy version will just be pretty much the melody with simple bass. Normal version has that rhythmic movement a little, and then the final version, which I've played at the beginning video. Uh, the performance at the beginning and at the outro which i'm going to now play very slowly thanks a ton for watching i hope you enjoy this version there are so many great versions of this song and i'm sure there will continue to be great versions of this song because it's a that that's what that's why you have that's why you call this a great song a great song is something which is timeless it just keeps going forward primarily because of the music and also because what other artists can contribute to the same piece of music which is what i have done and which is what i'm sure even you will do and what's really exciting about christmas songs which i found over the years is every year i tend to if i play god rest ye merry gentlemen in maybe the next year i have a feeling i'm i probably will come up with a completely different arrangement and i'll be sure i the first thing i'm going to do is make another video of that the next christmas so till then learn this version thanks a ton for watching if you haven't already don't forget to hit that bell very important if you are a subscriber you can also hit subscribe if you haven't already leave us a comment with something you'd like to learn hit the like button that really helps the lesson go forward and share the video and compliments of the seasons merry christmas to you and your family and wish you all a happy new year as well